How are you all? Welcome to your favorite English class. In this class, we are here to learn a new poem, Awareness About Our Environment. Who wrote this poem? The poem is written by Sylvia Stolz. Sylvia, Sylvia Stolz. In this poem, the author wants to discuss about our environment. What is meant by our environment? Our surroundings is simply put as environment. Awareness. What is the meaning of the word awareness? Children think what is the meaning of word awareness? To have knowledge in some topic means to be aware of that topic. To understand the meaning? To have some knowledge. To have no, complete knowledge of something is to be aware of that something. Okay. In this case, awareness about our environment means knowing our environment, knowing our surroundings. Okay. Sylvia Sills starts with a line where she tells about a human's action. Okay. What action she says in the first stanza? Let's see the poem. I'll read the poem out. You all read the poem aloud with me. Broken bottles, broken bottles and charred pieces of glass. Weighted up newspaper tossed on the grass. Broken bottles and charred pieces of glass. Wadded up newspapers tossed on the grass. You understood the first two lines? Broken bottles. That means bottles which are broke and charred pieces of glass. Charred pieces of glass means burnt black in color. Those glass will have burnt uh, black in color. Those glass pieces will have black color sediments over them. That pieces are called charred. Charred pieces of glass. Wadded up, wadded up. Wadded up means crushing, crushed up, crushed up newspaper. Crushing means what? If you take a paper in your hand, if you take a paper in your hand and if you keep it here and do this kind of action, what will happen to the paper? It will crush it. Crumble, no? it will crumble. That crumbled up is called water. How to pronounce water? Water up, use paper, toss down the grass. Broken bottles and charred. Pouring of concrete and tearing of trees. Pouring of concrete and tearing of trees. Yeah, yeah. 
determine that surrounds us? In the surrounding are we living? What kind of surrounding? She is talking about the first three lines. In the first three lines, what poet has told us? She told, people are throwing broken bottles, dark pieces of glasses and crushed newspaper just on the grass. Instead of using the garbage bins or dust bins, they are just thrown just like that on the grass itself. Let's see. In the night time, what will run over the grass? We can see in, like in the dark, rabbits, rats, squirrels, even cats and dogs, wild dogs, most of them run in the grass. That time, if you if there are broken bottles or sharp glass pieces, what will happen to them? They get injured, they get wounded, no? they get wounded. So, we should not throw broken bottles or dark piece of glasses. They can't be visible, not dark night time. No? So, we must not throw these things on the grass. Instead, we should use separate dustbin for them, like sharp objects, some sharp, sharp objects are put in some dustbins and degradable and biodegradable, non-biodegradable. What is meaning of biodegradable, non-biodegradable? I'll simply, I'll simply tell you one sentence. Say, say that you go to a barren land and you take a banana and you take a bottle of water, a glass bottle. Take banana, eat the banana, throw the peel. Take the bottle and just throw the bottle. After a month, come and see. Can you see the banana peel, see the place where you left? No, because small, small organisms and small worms, small insects might have eaten the banana peel. Whereas, can banana peel, sorry, can glass pieces be eaten by small, small insects? Have you seen any ants eating uh, glass pieces? No, they can't be digested by small organisms. So, they are not biodegradable. Biodegradable means they can be degraded but through living organisms. Can living organisms have any contact with glass pieces? If they eat them, they will die. So, they won't eat. So, biodegradable means that substances which can be eaten like paper or biodegradable. Paper is eaten by termites, right? So, such kind of biodegradable are thrown in the biodegradable bins. Whereas, non-biodegradable are sent to recycle through recycle bins. So, we have to use that kind of bins. Instead of, see, newspapers, they must not be tossed on the grass. Instead, they should be thrown in the dustbin. Thrown in the dustbin. Okay, what is the third line? Third line is pouring of concrete and covering of trees. What is mean by pouring of concrete? You might wonder. Pouring of concrete means, we must know what is concrete. Because it 
means of layers. Trees only that. But if you have to dry your building, we have to cut all the trees. So, like this, many trees are cut in, in a year. Many trees are cut just for raising the buildings and building the roads. Many trees are cut. And what, what will happen if many trees are cut in a particular area? That is called deforestation. See, many trees are being cut. That means they are deforest. Forest means what? It is a lot of trees gathered to form forest. So, if we cut all the forest means what? That is deforestation. Understand the meaning of deforestation children? Clearing of trees, clearing of forest to build something in that, in that land. That is deforestation. So, tearing of, uh, pouring of concrete means they are ready to build buildings and they are also ready in the cutting the trees. So, now coming to the ending of the sentence stanza. This is the end. This is the environment that surrounds us. She is asking, is this the environment that surrounds us? Children, have you seen such activities done by human people? Obviously, and unfortunately the answer is yes. People are doing such kind of uncivic and cruel act to the nature. So, nature means our environment. Environment is actually nature. We only made fully man-made. Around us everything is man-made. Nowadays, in the cities you can't see anything natural around us. Am I right children? We become so synthetic, even in our environment. So, in this environment also we should at least follow the basic, basic uh, idea of not harming the nature, mother nature. Mother nature means she is providing us with everything, but are we doing good to her as a children of mother? We should do. Good to we wish to only good to our mother. Yes, right? Our earth is our mother. So we should not do such activities and we should keep the environment from away from the such activities. So you understood the first stanza, children? We'll read aloud the first stanza once again with the full clarification of what what is in the poet's mind. She is worrying about uh, her environment, that is as well as our environment too. So Let's read a look. Broken bottles and charred pieces of glass. You might have seen broken bottles. Have you seen charred pieces of glass? Children, see here. See here, you are, see black in color, glass, black in color glass. You, you can see. This kind of glass is charred, charred in color. Charred means burnt glass. Burnt black in color. It tells the appearance of this pieces of glass. When it is a dark, how they look? They look very dark in color. So we read it again. Broken models and charred pieces of glass. Wadded up. Wadded up. Newspaper. Toss. Tossing means you might not know. You might have watched uh, cricket matches. They toss a coin before a match to decide which team to bat first and like that. So wadded up newspaper tossed on the grass. Pouring of concrete and tearing of trees. Pouring of concrete and tearing of trees. This is the environment that surrounds us. This is the environment that surrounds us. Yes. So this here comes the end of the first stanza. Let's move on to the next stanza children. In the first stanza, what we saw? We saw what? The poet speaking about our environment, our surrounding. What she is saying? She is saying some humans are doing actions like throwing broken bottles, throwing charred pieces of glass, that is burnt black in color glass, wadded up newspaper, wadded up newspaper, crushed in newspaper. They are throwing these things on the grass. That is, she is saying like that. People are still doing like that. Am I right, children? Yes. And she is telling that people are doing like that. And we, as a student, as a student and children, we should stop whoever is doing such acts. Then, what is the third line? Pouring of concrete and tearing of trees. Pouring of concrete and tearing of trees. Pouring of concrete and tearing of trees. That means people are 
keep on building roads and buildings in the mean by or what they are doing they are cutting the trees for that so whenever we see when trees are being cut we should tell them please don't cut and at the end of the stanza she is telling is this the environment that surrounds us is this the environment that surrounds us yes it is the environment but we should change it okay let's move on to the next stanza next stanza is also again a curious stanza see how the stanza goes poisons poisons and insecticides spread on our food poisons and insecticides spread on our food oceans are filled with thick oily crude first two lines again poisons and insecticides spread on our food oceans filled with thick oily crude understood children poisons filling it thick oil crude all sea life destined to slow awful doom slow awful doom what is the meaning of that third line is or sea life destined to slow awful Now we know the meaning of what is 
is uh, what is given consumed. So we look into the last ten. See, these are the things we have to consume. Me means what are the things she is mentioning? She is mentioning about our food. And what is happening to our food? That is given in the first three lines. Let's look what humans are doing to our own food. Children, listen carefully what we are doing to our own food. If we don't stop this kind of action, then we will all be dead. Why? Because here farmers produce. What farmers produce? They produce food. They produce raw materials for our food like vegetables, fruits, grains, seeds, etc. Like that, farmers have to produce many things. Am I right, children? To produce such things on the field, they will grow seeds, they will, they will plant stems. Like that, they will use many techniques to grow the plants. They grow the plants, they get yield from the plants and they again culture, again crop the other crops. Understand children? What is what the farmer does? They plant. They plant uh, small small herbs as well as they throw seeds for trees. They they the plow they grow the fields for what? To erect, erect the sand or soil. So that time what farmer is noticing. Farmer notices there are some insects as well as some rodents. What is meant by rodents? Rodents, pests. These two words are new to you, I guess. Am I right, children? Rodents means that you might see some big, big rats, small rats. Eating away big big vegetables in the field. Those are called rodents. The creatures like rats. Then what else? Frogs. Yeah. 
poison through our mouth. In such cases, what happened to our health? To our health, what will happen? We will also will be poisoned by that sprays. We will also be poisoned by such sprays, and we will also become ill, and we will also will reach this death called doom. Doom means nothing but death. Take 
dark uh, oil matter and they are throwing into the ocean, they are dumping in the ocean. Dumping in the ocean means, see, if we jump into the swimming pool, if we know swimming, we can come out straight. And we can also go inside the water and see. Can we jump into oil or coconut oil and we can, can we go inside? Think the such kind of harmful uh, chemical substances if we swim in that water happen will die. That only happen to fish and other sea life creatures like seahorses, dolphins, jellyfish, oysters, etc. When they are come in contact with this thick and oil or thick crude oil, what happens? They can't breathe. They can only breathe in water. They can't breathe in this oil. So what will happen? If you can't breathe, you will die. So all sea life creatures destined means what is the destiny? Destiny destined means for what you what you are going to do at the end. It tells about the end. Destined means it tells about Food and the food we are eating are mostly nowadays poisoned 
this worry is there in our our poets mind and poets heart and she is making us aware about these kind of things going on around us and what as a student we should do we should also should avoid if we become adults and we are working in you know, if we are working in a petrol engine industry or if you meet anyone working in a petrol industry or if you meet anyone as a farmer what should we do we should kindly ask them not to release crude into the ocean and we should ask farmers to not spray poison over our crops understand that understand children farmers are spraying poisons on our crops and what petroleum guys petroleum industries guys are doing they are dumping the thick oil crude in the oceans these are all what they are doing they are poisoning our own food they are making our own food dangerous for us so what should we ask we should ask them to please stop we have to eat a healthy food not a dangerous food so the stanza ends with these are the things we have to consume should we consume these kind of things that is the meaning of this for play should we consume these kind of things dangerous things we should eat uh, like uh, the poet is asking to us through the poem so now we are aware of what is going on around us am i right awareness about our environment we are getting more and more knowledge about our environment about our surroundings in this stanza we saw about our food the previous stanza what we saw we saw about yes children tell me what we saw about we saw about people throwing garbage on the grass itself on the floors itself means they are not using the dust bins and people are cutting the trees and people are keep on raising the buildings raising the buildings and they are destroying the nature instead in the first stanza we should protect nature the second stanza we should not we should avoid poisoning our own food we should avoid poisoning our own food we should not at all poison our food because we are eating the food so that comes in from the second stanza we'll move to the third stanza okay children you understood this what is the meaning of poison and insecticides they are like very dangerous substances to eat if you eat them you will die so insecticides are used for killing the insects poisons are used for killing the rodents and pests rodents and pests means rats moles those kind of uh, rat kind of creatures are called rodents and pests so what they will do they will destroy the crops and oceans are filled with crude means what they are thick they are very thick and dark like this they are very dark and thick liquid that is crude that is very very poisonous very very poisonous and dangerous to the health of our health also marine life and also poisonous then destined destined means it is telling about the end what is the all see like destined to slow awful doom awful means very sad manner doom means death all see see like finally when it become dead because of this crude oil being put into their house and what is the fourth line this all will make our food poisonous why should we eat them that is the end of the fourth line So second stanza is over. We move on to the third stanza.